Hi, my name is Atirah Fatim binti Faizal from class 22D. My metric number is 22.240238. Firstly, it's about the introduction. Culture is the characteristic and specification of a specific community, including social norms, language, music, art and cuisine. Every culture has a unique impact on individuals in every aspect in their lives, including their traditions, value, their communication style, or conflict resolution. Malaysia has a variety of cultures from different ethnic groups. Five individuals from different cultural backgrounds have selected for this interview analysis. The interviewees that selected were Nawin Anna Andan, 21 years old from Sarawak and Iban Tribe. The second interviewee is 21 years old, Andinian from Pulau Pinang and Chinese culture. The interview is Rizal Rik Claren Jackie from Sabah and Kadazan Dusun Tribe which is 20 years old. And the fourth interviewee is Ahmad Nadia Binti Sukrishno, 22 years old, from Pahang. And she is a Malay, yet has a Javanese culture that comes from her Indonesian parents. And finally is Shabin Naib, 21, from Pulau Pinang, comes from Indian culture. Next is about the interview preparation. Since this interview was intended to analyze cross-culture difference, every interviewee that chosen is from different backgrounds which is as mentioned before, from Iban, Kadazan Dusun, Chinese, Indian, and Javanese culture. Understanding the importance of, of being well informed, so begin by truly researching any information on each culture. This research gave a true understanding of the culture backdrop, allowing for the agreement of draft question to be asked to the interviewees. Each question stated is based on the views of different aspects of culture whether it is culture in terms of tradition and custom, culture and values, culture norms and gender roles, or variety of other aspects. Although each interview will answer the same questions, the result of their responses will be different since each culture has different views. Following that is interview process. The interviews were planned in advance to avoid important religions and culture holidays ensuring the comfort and focus of the interviewees. Since the interviewees are from the same zone and there are no time differences, so the selecting time and date is easy to set. However, due to the time limits and other unavoidable constraints, all interviews are conducted by filling out of the form. The filling the form has opened within a week from 9 October to 15 October. Therefore, interviews can fill out the form based on their availability. Consider interviewing individuals from various cultural backgrounds and personalities where are some easy to interact with directly and other are not. As a result, the interview environment was set up to be a pleasant and non-threatening that allowing them to express themselves openly. Next is about the summary. Each interview is able to fill out the form within the time limit provided. They are able to provide insightful and creative responses with a lot of cultural information. This interview reveals how each interviewee's back culture background has a significant impact on their ideas and responses. Each participant share their culture background, the uniqueness and custom in their culture, and some cultural perspective on things. They highlight a certain aspect of their culture. For example, in Chinese culture, they believe that men have a greater status than a woman. And another example is Kalazan Jusun culture is focused with collectivist concept where people will discuss an issue and choose the best suggestion. Next is about the analysis of culture dimension. Hostile culture dimension are power distance, uncertainty, masculine versus feminine, individualism versus collectivism, and short term versus long term orientation. Analysis of the interview is shown in the table. The table shows that even and Chinese culture have a high power distance while the other three cultures have a low power distance. Each culture, except Kadazan Dusun, has a high uncertainty because they can accept any changes. But Kadazan Dusun prefer a clear structure and dislike uncertainty. Next, it shows that only Chinese culture is masculine because they focus on life success, while the other four cultures are feminine. Every culture is collectivist because they make decisions with the others and ask for opinions. Uh, last from the table, Javanese and Indian culture 
are a short term oriented because they focus on the present and the future while the other three cultures are high term. There are interesting and similarities uh, and difference between my culture with the other culture. The similarities that can be found from interviews is the value of family ties. This similarity is found in the in, in the culture Indian. Next is made decision by collectively from culture Gardas and Dusun is also same in my culture. Other similarity is about the tradition in Javanese culture. Since the Malay and Javanese cultures have significant Islamic influence in our life, both of the cultures celebrate Eid al-Fitri as a victory for Muslim fasting in the bulan Ramadan. However, they are also contrast in my culture and the other culture. The contrast that can be found from the interviews is about the perspective in time. In Chinese culture, they are very caring and place high importance on punctuality. But my culture, punctuality is more relaxed. Arriving a bit late is not regarded as impolite or disrespectful. But there is understanding that delays might happen for a very reason and flexibility is appreciated. But the contrast is about the conflict resolution. Interviewing from Kadazan and Dusun share they are more approach conflict in direct commission to resolve the conflict. But contrast in my culture, Conflict resolution is more in indirect communication. Direct communication can be helpful and resolve issues quickly, but it may cause discomfort for some people and something unexpected may happen when solving an issue due to failure to control emotion. Following that is impact of cultural management. Understanding cultural differences help organizations adjust their approaches, policies, and relationships fostering the a harmonious and productive workplace. Every culture has a different communication style that can have significant effects on communication style and across culture workplace. Even in Indian culture, value contextual and indirect communication with unspoken cues and gestures carrying substantial value. On the other hand, Chinese and Kadazan Dusun cultures frequently use high content communication, in which the context of an opinion is essential for comprehension, while Japanese culture is more tendency for straightforward communication that emphasizes directness in, co in communication protocols, allowing clarity and lowering the possibility of misunderstanding. There is significant decision-making process in the framework of the organization as a result of the interview. Iban and Kadazan Dusun culture are consensual and their communities value mutual agreement, whereas Chinese and Indian cultures often emphasize hierarchical decision making and an orderly approach. Decisions discussed among the leaders to ensure roles and duties are clear in contrast to Javanese culture, which place a great emphasis on conflict resolution. There are practical implications that can be implemented in the organization. For the impact of cross-cultural management of varied communication style, Iban and Indian cultures with strong context communication may conduct a team-building exercise that enhances the trust and camaraderie, allowing team members to rely on implicate cues for effective cooperation. Whereas, Kadazan Dusun and Chinese cultures, which emphasize clarity and context in communication, can set up a detailed project documentation and briefing session ensuring that everyone properly understands their roles and responsibilities. However, challenges may arise due to differences in communication style that can lead to misunderstanding and project delays. To solve this problem and allow team members to communicate their cultural norms, cross-cultural communication programs can be helped to address this issue. Following that, for the impact of cross-cultural management in making diverse decisions to be prevented, Understanding how the cultural vari variation affect decision making can be both beneficial and challenging. The Iban and Kadazan Dusun cultural community approach encourage participants, but challenge can lead to the delay the outcomes. On the other hand, Chinese and Indian culture that have theoretical approach require a clear structure. Meanwhile, the indirect communication of Javanese culture requires careful interpretation. So. Organization must establish clear hierarchies, conflict resolution training, 
and open dialog session to overcome these challenges. Personal Reflection Reflecting on interaction with different cultures shows how a culture impacts perception, behaviors, and belief. Race relations are central to Iban and Kadir Zandusun culture. I learn cooperation together from this community and support focus. Chinese culture emphasizes ambition in education, job, and life, while Indian culture emphasizes family relationships and combining tradition and modernity. Japanese culture values harmony and indirect communication, which taught me the significance of safety in relationship. This conversation taught me the other cultures look at the same issues differently. For example, direct eye contact is respectful gestures in Chinese. But it is considered disrespectful in Iban culture. These interviews show me how cultural diversity's complexity affects organizations. Respect teamwork and collaboration. Chinese culture taught me hierarchical structure and respect, which shaped my culture team leadership. Family values in Indian culture promote sensitivity and empathy in business and life. Japanese culture encourages cross cultural perceptual interaction by listening and interpreting unsaid message. Participating in these diverse cultures has deepened my awareness of human complexity. I learned Cultural humility by seeing my opinion is merely one of a many. Finally, the conclusion is I can learn about cultural differences and similarities as a result from the interviews. Through these interviews, I have not only gained a better understanding of diverse cultures, but also have improved my cross-cultural management and communication skills. It can emphasize the importance of viewing cultural diversity as an opportunity for learning and cooperation instead of challenge. Reflecting on this varied perspective inspire me to continue expanding cultural understanding, realizing that embracing our diversity, our life, and our strength of global community.